Hi everyone, welcome to the Nicholas Workshop. Um, as you can or will have seen from the uh, title of this video, um, this is a basically a, to put the, put the record correct because uh, what I told you in the uh, the previous video titled um, a "Sensitive Driller Machine Upgrade" was uh, quite factually wrong in a, in, a, in a few places. So I thought I'd better make a uh, video to um, correct it because really although I wouldn't claim to know everything I'm quite keen to uh, ensure that what I do say is right and if I mess up and someone corrects me then uh, I want to put the record straight but because there were quite a few uh, uh, <laughs> inaccuracies I thought uh, it deserved a video in its own right. Okay so the first one is where I talked about uh, so what we've got here is the uh, the original one I had and then this is the new RE one I, that I purchased. Um, the uh, This one is a sensitive drilling machine and this one is not. So um, it's just a small drilling machine. So um, and um, I'm not even sure how I got it wrong. But anyway, so many thanks to uh, Pat uh, let me try and read uh, uh, Dwarzen, I hope I got that right Pat, um, who pointed out there as stiffness as day and night and, uh, and he is correct in as much as this where you haven't got the rack and pinion on here and you, it's all about feel so you can feel whether with a super small drill whether you actually got um, you need to back off uh, you know to avoid um, uh, breaking drills whereas on the uh, the RE one, the new one, where we've got the rack and pinion um, on the spindle, what that does that that removes the sensitivity to to a certain extent. I mean, you can feel it a bit, but it's nowhere near the same. So, yeah, apologies to everyone for that, and many thanks to Pat for uh, you know putting me right. So, um, and I spoke about keeping both of the machines, uh, or or not keeping both. But now I've decided that I will keep them both um, because they effectively have different uses. So um, uh, the new RE one, that will be uh, tickety-boo sort of for up here. Uh, as regular viewers know, we've got the big pedestal machine downstairs. So if I have to do something a bit bigger. And I've also got the Mamilla machine that I could build, uh, drill with if, it, if it's somewhere in between the two. So, uh, so we will keep them both. Um, as we can see I've now put it on a base and I've done a bit of paint work so and done a bit of a clean up on it it's not um, I need to do more more work on the spindle and I haven't attempted to straighten out the bent uh, handle what I have managed to find is uh, got a small mortgage out and I've got some um, uh, cast iron to make the pulley that I need to make so um, and I haven't um, found a suitable uh, motor uh, yet. Um, I am tempted to try and sort of hang out a little bit because I'm filming this before I've had my hip done. So um, I've got I'm going to have six to eight weeks at the workshop. So I may try and just see if I can get another an identical one. Um, but I don't I'm not sure why. Or maybe uh, a Myford one. So therefore I've got some element of backup if I need if the Myford went pop its motor I could then um, still still that temporarily but I sourced another one um, I've done a bit of clean up on it it's looking a bit a bit nicer uh, and everything seems to be running um, running well um, that I found out that was a genuine Jacobs chuck so that's pretty good so one of the other inaccuracies and I started um, sort of saying when I was talking about getting rid of the original one the actual sensitive drilling machine and I said it I did I inaccurately said it was a set of castings from uh, George Thomas but actually they're from uh, um, Edgar Westbury so oh. and, and so again that was a mistake um, and um, when I actually bought the machine I didn't realize what where the castings came from and um, 
it was uh, Nigel or Nigel from Nigel's basement workshop put me right on that. Um, he actually originally told me what uh, what make the castings were and then he corrected me when I inadvertently said they were uh, George Thomas castings so uh, thanks again to you Nigel for that so uh, we got the record straight on that um, what uh, with a, as we can see we got that with that stonking great bit, bit of cast iron what I, I may do is um, I think there will be enough and there's another piece I showed you in the previous video that I may have enough to attempt to redo the all these these wheels on here so that will be uh, or pulleys on here so that I bring that, that that part up to scratch the only thing I meant to do and I haven't actually tried was to actually measure this diameter and this to see because one of the big things I liked about this was the ability to tilt the table so actually this may fit on here so I don't know but if I get to a stage where space is somewhat more of a premium which it will at some time become um, I'll then potentially um, see if that and maybe make a sort of a build one one out of two uh, but we'll see that so anyway just a very short video just to put the record straight and show you that I progressed it a little bit and we we do some more on this when um, I'm back in the workshop in uh, June and July or oh, oh. well definitely not before okay so uh, yeah sorry for getting it wrong and uh, many thanks to uh, Pat and Nige for uh, putting me right okay so uh, as always stay happy strong and healthy and I'll see you in the next one cheerio Thank you.